hello guys welcome back to the chair tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix valorant stuck and freeze in windows 11 and it is when you're trying to press any key on your windows 11 and how we can fix this up so let's dive into it so uh, what you have to do is just have to follow the instruction so that the issue will not be available hereafter so the first thing is you just have to go over here in the start you have to right click and navigate to settings now from here you have to select system from here you just have to uh, go over here on display now from here you just have to scroll down and you just have to navigate to graphics now from here as you can see there is an option called under default settings change default graphics settings select this one now as you can see the hardware accelerated gpu scheduling which means they will be reducing the latency and improve performance and you will need to restart your PC to have your changes effect. So you just have to turn this off. Okay. Once you turn this off, you have to restart the PC so that only the changes will be applied. So on this is what you have to do. Once you turn this off, you just have to close this. You have to restart your PC and try to uh, play the game. And most probably the issue regarding this will be completely fixed. Even after trying this, if it's still not working, the next is you just have to open your Valorant. You can go over here in the Epic Games Launcher and you can from here you can launch the game. And once you're launching the game, you just have to go over here in the start menu. You just have to right click and you just have to go over here in the task manager. So what happens is you will be getting Valorant will be here. So in my case here, as you can see, I'm able to see is right client, right? But when you're trying to launch the game, in your case, you'll be having the Valorant. But here, when I'm trying to play the game, I'm having an error right now. I don't know why this is happening. And it's called uh, 0x800125. And I have to figure this out by, I have to find a way so that I can upload another video on this. So I'll be minimizing this. So I'll go over here in the task manager. So here you have to imagine that this right client is Valorant. Okay you have to imagine don't get confused so here what you have this will be getting valorant icons you just have to select that one you have to expand this now from here once you expand you have to select the respective one from here and you will be able to get uh, the valorant and you have to select the valorant once again and you just have to uh, go over here and you just have to click on go to details so first thing you will be having a valorant icon like this and you have to expand this you'll be getting another valorant so you have to select that one now you just have to go to details now from here you just have to scroll down okay so you have to scroll down and you will be able to find we will be able to find this one that is uh, over here in case you don't get confused with the right client ux.exe but you will be getting what you will be getting it is named valorant win 64 you will be getting valorant win 64 so you just have to select the respective one then once you select the respective one what you have to just have to click on set priority and you have to select real time now from here you just have to go for change priority once it is done you just have to close this restart and most probably the issue regarding this will be completely fixed and i just wanted to let you know once once again guys you will be having in the task manager you will be having riot client that means you don't have to get confused in your case because i'm not able to launch the game that's why i'm having riot client which is already launched here but in your case you'll be having valorant so you have to expand the valorant keep expanding valorant once again select it and follow the instruction don't get confused because i receive many comments on this so that's why uh, i mentioned this up and if you find this video helpful don't get confused and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.